The film opens up with a couple in bed, and the woman professing her love to the man. The man seems surprised, but starts laughing as he reciprocates, and the two of them kiss and hold one another. We can safely assume that the man is Peter, and the woman is Vandy, the two title characters. The scene cuts to the pair out in New York City, stopping on a walkway which is opposite the Statue of Liberty. Peter seems ecstatic to be there with Vandy, stating that he's never been there before, and expresses his gratitude for taking the time out to plan it all. Vandy takes out a pair of glasses and some wine, but Peter stops her and asks, if he can toast, to which she agrees. Peter states that he's glad he met her, that she's the best person he has ever met. Peter is a little awkward, as it's revealed that the couple have only been dating for three weeks at this point. He goes on to tell her that it's been a pleasure to get to know her, takes a moment to breathe, and just comes out and says he loves her. Vandy's reaction is negative, she doesn't smile, or even seem to be happy about hearing this. Vandy just stares at Peter, saying nothing. Peter stares at her, smiling awkwardly, but realizing that this may have caught Vandy off guard. He explains that she doesn't have to say anything back. Peter quickly changes the subject. It is likely this scene is taking place before the opening scene, as we just saw the pair confessing their love to each other in bed. But here they're being more formal, and Vandy even looks somewhat unhappy to hear Peter profess his love to her. In the next scene, Peter is sleeping on a couch, while Vandy stares at him, not even blinking as she watches him sleep. Vandy here looks almost angry, watching Peter from the other side of the room like a hawk. As she continues staring at him, images of a conversation they had some time earlier flash in her mind. The scene then cuts to the couple sitting together watching TV, and Peter tries getting intimate with Vandy, though she doesn't seem in the mood, and is more interested in watching the show. Vandy asks Peter why he chose this particular show, if all he wanted to do was be intimate with her while they were watching. Peter mostly ignores this and begins kissing Vandy, who pushes him away, reiterating that she's not in the mood. Peter pulls away and sits at the end of the coach, but Vandy feels bad, so she leans over to acquiesce, and although Peter says he's no longer in the mood, Vandy continues and the couple end up getting intimate with each other. Peter is running across the road, just coming out of a takeaway holding a box of rice and chicken and a can of ginger ale. He sees Vandy sitting on a bench across the street on her own and sits down next to her. This event is clearly the first time the two ever met, as Peter introduces himself as he sits down. Vandy initially doesn't tell Peter her name, and she even looks slightly annoyed at this stranger sitting down next to her on this very large bench. Peter attempts to initiate a conversation by stating that the ginger ale he bought is from a new, yet expensive company. Vandy doesn't say much, just nods in approval, and continues eating her lunch, which is the same as Peter's, as it is from the same takeaway. Peter notices this and begins a conversation about the best combination of chicken and salad to order from the shop, which he has more success with, as Vandy is interested enough in the subject to converse with him. He gives her some tips in regards to ordering from the shop, stating that if she orders a different side of fried rice, she'll save a lot of money. Peter asks her name, and she introduces herself as Jill, which is a reference to a joke Peter made earlier. She eventually gives him her real name, Vandy, and Peter initially thinks she is joking, and states that he's never heard such a unique name. Peter asks if Fanny works nearby, but she tells him she's just in the area for jury duty. As the two of them finish their lunch, Peter begins to ask her out. But just then, Peter's friend Gary interrupts them. Peter is annoyed, but introduces Gary to Vandy anyway, who takes her leave, feeling uncomfortable standing in the street talking to two random men whom she doesn't know. Peter stares at Gary in silence. Gary realizes what he has done and apologizes as Peter angrily gives him his salad, shoving the box into his chest. Sometime in the future, Peter and Vandy are a couple, and Peter gets into bed with Vandy. However, Vandy quickly asks him if he thinks going back to his own place would be a good idea, as they're not ready to live together. Peter agrees, but Vandy quickly suggests that he stays, but sleeps on the couch. Peter seems keen to stay, so he accepts. It is clear that at this point, the couple aren't on the best of terms. However, for some reason, at some point in their relationship, Vandy became uncomfortable around Peter. At another point in time, Peter and Vandy are sitting together in the living room. Peter expresses he is hungry, and Vandy asks him if he feels like going to the new Vietnamese place they've been wanting to try, though Peter isn't in the mood. Vandy is annoyed by how lazy Peter is being, stating that he doesn't feel like putting his shoes on, while he stares expressionless at the TV. Peter, in turn, flips the question on Vandy, who is now annoyed and asks him to look through the takeout menus, as she's no longer hungry, likely a reaction to Peter's dismissive, lazy attitude. He ends up looking through the takeaway menus and calls the restaurant, though when he asks her again what she wants, she replies that she wants nothing. This annoys Peter, and the two bicker. At this point, Peter gives up and asks Vandy if she actually wants to go to the new Vietnamese place, to which Vandy says she no longer feels like it. Peter throws her coat at her and the couple reluctantly end up going to the restaurant. An example of how the couple slowly ended up getting annoyed by each other. While at the restaurant, the two of them talk, and Vandy mentions that she has purchased a new purse, and that she is going to use oil to break into it. Peter makes a joke about baseball gloves which restores a somewhat cordial atmosphere. 
Their food soon arrives, and Peter tries to make Vandy try his food, as it smells funny, and calls it, Poon Thai, as the pair laugh and appear their back to enjoying each other's company. The scene cuts to Peter and Vandy at a wedding together, sitting with another couple they are friends with, whose names are Paul and Marissa. The two couples are then greeted by Vandy's sister, named Emma, and her husband Keith. Keith and Emma soon pull away and head for the dance floor, as Peter makes takes a dig at Emma and her talkative personality. Marissa asks Vandy how long Emma and Keith have been married, and she informs her that they've been married for eight years. Vandy then asks Marissa if going to weddings reminds her of her own wedding, to which she frowns. Paul quickly interjects on behalf of his wife, commenting that she's blocked it out, to which Peter loudly laughs. Paul mentions that Peter was present the day he and his wife were betrothed, and the mere mention of the word betrothed annoys Marissa. Paul is drunk, and he and Marissa end up getting into a heated argument as Paul storms off to the bar. Marissa spots Paul asking for change from strangers at the bar so he can tip, so she gets up and runs off to stop him. Vandy and Peter laugh off the awkward situation they were just stuck in the middle of, and Vandy asks Peter if they are comparable, which Peter denies, laughing at the suggestion. The scene cuts to two points in time, both where the title couple are walking through public with lots of bags in their hands. In the first point, Peter and Vandy are not paying any attention to one another, expressionless, walking along the sidewalk. The next, they both are doing the same thing, but look much happier, talking and laughing. In both scenarios, Vandy is struggling with the bags, though in the first, and likely the one taking place later in time, Peter doesn't help Vandy. In the second scenario, Peter laughs while helping Vandy. This shows us how the couple became less friendly, and even less kind to one another as time passed. One morning, Peter is getting ready for a job interview, staring in the mirror as he does his tie. He shouts to Mandy to get out of his closet, and Vandy comes into the room with a shirt she thinks he should wear. Peter looks at the shirt and scoffs, asking Vandy to go back to bed. However, Vandy shrugs off Peter's annoyance, begins teasing him and tries to embrace him, though Peter knocks her arms off him, firmly stating he doesn't want to be touched. Vandy is somewhat offended by this, but acknowledges Peter's anxiety when it comes to job interviews. Peter states that he's very stressed, and Vandy holds him as she attempts to make him feel more relaxed and calm. Peter and Vandy end up getting intimate before his job interview. Back to the picnic, Vandy thanks Peter for saying that he loves her. Peter, however, explains that he felt bad for saying it, as Vandy's initial reaction wasn't positive. Vandy apologizes, and the scene cuts to the two of them in bed, and her telling Peter that she loves him. Peter gets up from the bench, throws a wine glass into the water, and the pair of them run off before they get into trouble. Sometime in the future, Peter is walking back from work when he bumps into Vandy. It seems as if the pair have been separated for some time, as they're both surprised to see each other. Peter asks Vandy what she's up to, and she explains that she's just done some Christmas shopping, and she's soon off on holiday with Emma. Vandy reveals that she's headed to a jewelry store near her apartment, though she stutters and accidentally says, our apartment, revealing that sometime in the past, Peter moved out. Peter tells her that he's off with his friends, Paul and Gary, on a golf trip to Arizona. Vandy wishes him well and takes her leave, as Peter watches on as she walks away. Vandy is visibly unhappy with the meeting. Back to the day of the job interview, Peter strolls back home to the apartment he and Vandy share. Vandy excitedly asks Peter about his interview, who seems like he's in a good mood. Vandy keeps trying to probe him about his interview, and he continues to give her vague answers to her questions. Vandy eases off, sensing Peter is feeling annoyed, and offers to make him a sandwich, which Peter accepts. Vandy begins making the sandwich and starts using separate knives for spreading the peanut butter and jelly, which annoys Peter, and he doesn't hesitate to voice his annoyance. Vandy reaches her limit and snaps angrily at Peter, who doesn't ease up his own insults. Vandy storms off and Peter, being petty, mixes the peanut butter slathered knife in the jelly. At the wedding, Peter and Vandy are watching Paul and Marissa arguing at the bar from afar, laughing to themselves at how they're nothing like them. Peter, however, compares Marissa's shouting to Vandy's, who shuts him up, and is adamant she never behaves like that. Peter laughs, while Vandy is annoyed that Peter would even suggest that she behaves in such a way. Vandy is at her family home, spending Thanksgiving with her parents, Emma, her husband, and their daughter. Vandy's niece is a picky eater, stating that she doesn't like gravy or turkey, but she does like stuffing. She asks for the stuffing that was made last year, though Vandy's father tells her that Peter was the one that made that stuffing, and he's not here this time. Vandy's put in an awkward position of trying to explain to a child that she's no longer with her boyfriend. Vandy's mother interjects and explains to her granddaughter that Peter isn't a nice person. That's why he's not there, though Vandy is appalled to hear this from her mother, and asks her to stop badmouthing Peter. Vandy then explains to her niece that Peter is a nice person, 
but that he and Vandy are no longer friends. Vandy's niece finds this hard to understand, though Vandy explains that sometimes you fall out with your friends, and you stop speaking to one another. Sometime in the past, Vandy is at an art exhibition with her boyfriend at the time, Andrew. Andrew comes up to her, kisses her cheek, and asks her if she's willing to meet his parents, to which Vandy is hesitant to answer. Andrew seems like a person who believes that money will solve any issue, as he states that he'd like to purchase a painting at the exhibition. Taking a sip of champagne, Vandy voices her annoyance and tells Andrew that she doesn't want him to purchase a painting, as she feels he's only doing so out of pity. Some of these paintings were likely done by Vandy. Andrew apologizes and takes his leave, telling Vandy that he'll see her tomorrow, though Vandy reminds him she has jury duty the next day. Andrew and Vandy's relationship seems like a rocky one, with both doing and saying things that annoy the other. The next day, Vandy is headed to jury duty, where she bumps into Peter, whom she just first met not too long ago while sitting on a bench nearby. Peter is delighted to see Vandy, though Vandy is quick to state that she's dating someone. Peter stops her and says that he just wanted to give her something. Vandy is confused, though is also curious as to what it is. Peter hands her a crossword, claiming that one of the answers on there is Vandy, and it made him immediately think of her, and then bids her farewell. Vandy stops him, asking if he's just going to just give up on asking her out, wanting him to try harder. Peter is surprised that a woman who just told him that she's dating someone is asking him to try harder, but then asks her if she would like to go to an Indian restaurant with him, and she agrees without hesitation. Peter is at work, drawing up some plans for a product his company works on, when a woman comes up from behind him and compliments his work. The woman introduces herself as Michelle and hints that she wants Peter to ask her out, as she asks him if he knows any good BBQ places. Peter replies that he doesn't know of any BBQ places, though he knows of some great barbecue places in the area. Michelle laughs, realizing that Peter is joking, though she is unaware that Peter actually has a pet peeve for abbreviations of food, as he earlier got annoyed by Vandy referring to peanut butter as PB. Peter and Michelle get on well together, and she even notes that he's funny, and it seems like Peter enjoys speaking to her. Peter is out with Gary, Paul, and another friend at a bar, all drunk. The group continues to down shots as Paul states that he'll be leaving soon, as Marissa expects to him be at home, and that it's their anniversary tomorrow. Peter is concerned, and asks Paul if he and Marissa are on good terms, to which he replies they are. Peter and the rest of his friends toast to the couple. Paul asks Peter how he's doing, and Peter admits he's not doing well. Just then, a man across the bar catches a drunk Peter's eye. Peter has mistaken this man for Keith, who is Vandy's brother-in-law. The man states many times to Peter that he isn't Keith, though Peter is too drunk to listen, and continues pleading with the man to talk to Vandy for him. At another point in the past, Peter is sitting in the apartment he shared with Vandy, who is brushing her teeth while asking him if he would be willing to make the stuffing this year. Peter seems like he's in a daze, and stops Vandy as she heads for the bedroom. Peter asks her to sit down, because he needs to talk to her. Peter states that he's not happy, and hasn't been happy living with Vandy. Peter tells her that he thinks they should break up, which moves Vandy to tears. Vandy begs Peter to give her a reason, if there's another person in his life, but he denies this and tries to convince her that he just believes that they're not meant for each other. Vandy calms down and the pair talk about their issues with each other, leading to them getting intimate. While in bed, Vandy asks Peter to never leave her, to which he promises he won't. The next morning, however, Vandy asks Peter again if there's someone else, and this time Peter takes his time to answer. Both of them fall silent, then finally, Peter states that nothing happened, and Vandy immediately knows that Peter hasn't been completely faithful. Vandy angrily pushes Peter out of the room, and Peter leaves while trying to plead his innocence. At Peter and Vandy's first date, which took place just after Peter asked her when she was attending jury duty, Peter asks if Vandy needs to change plans to attend tonight. Vandy immediately knows that he's asking about her current relationship status, as she told him that she's seeing someone. Vandy reveals that she decided to break up with Andrew, but jokes that she'll think about getting back with him if this date doesn't go well. Peter apologizes, though Vandy asks him not to apologize, and that she has noticed that he has a habit of always apologizing. The two of them then play tug of war when the bill comes, though Peter wins out, and they both agree that Vandy will at least pay the tip. Back in the present day, the day Peter bumps into Vandy after she's been Christmas shopping, Peter watches Vandy as she walks away. The scene continues to and from the wedding they attended together, where they watch on as Paul and Marissa continuously argue. Peter asks Vandy if she wants to dance with him. Vandy continues to state that she believes that Paul and Marissa should leave one another, though Peter assures her that this is just how they've always been. Peter reveals that at one point, Paul did actually intend to leave Marissa, though Peter himself convinced him not to, which surprises Vandy. Cutting back to the present, as Vandy walks away, Peter grabs a bouquet of flowers and runs after her. Peter spots her inside a jewelry store and approaches her, apologizing for breaking up with her. 
Vandy, once again, asks him not to apologize and Peter states that he was wrong. Vandy is taken aback by the words that are coming out of Peter's mouth, who asks her if they could give their relationship another chance. Vandy voices her concerns, stating that she thinks that even if the two of them get back together, there's a good chance they'll break up again. Peter, however, is persistent, confessing that he believes that Vandy is the person he believes he's meant to be with. Vandy is hesitant to get back with him, stating she believes that everything that happened between them happened for a reason, that this is who they are together. Vandy goes on, expressing her concerns that things won't change, and Peter understands what she's saying, but isn't backing down. Sometime in the future, Vandy is sitting in her apartment, staring at the bedroom, and out comes Peter. The two of them clean up the couch together, as it seems Peter is sleeping on the couch at night, and discuss what movie they could watch together at the cinema. Vandy suggests a movie, and Peter is immediately happy with it, a stark contrast to earlier in their relationship, when they would get into heated arguments over things they couldn't decide on. But then Peter suggests they go for brunch before the movie, and Vandy notes that Peter hasn't eaten all day. Peter, however, insists he's not hungry and can wait, though Vandy isn't buying it, and the two of them get into a minor argument again. Peter looks down and says to himself that he's trying too hard, though Vandy tells him it's okay, as she begins cleaning her apartment. Peter comes up behind Vandy and holds her, 